Before anything else, we would like to state again and remind our viewers that our objective in doing this program is to present the facts we gathered and present it to you without passing any judgment or conclusion just yet. At the end of this series, however, we will be providing a conclusion and a stand based on the research that our group has done. If you have information that can enlighten us and provide more clarity on this topic, please contact us and we will be more than willing to present your side. Uh, Ordaneta said, Masawa is in Mindanao. In our previous episode, we talk about what Mazawa Island is and how the Armada sighted the island. We are still with Mr. Vicente de Jesus, a researcher and historian. He believes that the claim of Limasawa Island and Butuan is wrong. Based on Pigafetta's record, he mentioned the island named Mazawa where they landed and planted a cross on the hill. Where is Mazawa? Can we locate this island? In this episode of Historia, we will continue the discussion of the claim of Mazawa Island as the site of the first mass in the Philippines. Mark Pangilinan, your coolie traveler from Limang Siglo, and welcome to Historia, Story Within History. In this series, you will hear the stories of every place we visit. Let's explore, enhance our knowledge, but more importantly, enjoy, while deepening our understanding of our history. This episode was made true by the generous support of TerraVibe.com. I'm with Mr. Vicente Calibo de Jesus, a researcher and historian who was commissioned by the local government of Butuan in 1986 to research more about the claim for the site of the first mass. I am Vicente C. de Jesus from Butuan City. I was uh, commissioned by the city of Butuan in 1986 to research on this issue, the Butuan Limasawa Mazawa claims. And uh, up to now, I'm still studying the issue. Mr. Vicente started researching about the first mass in the country. He challenged other claims to confirm that based on Pigafetta, the mentioned place Mazawa is Mazawa Island. Well, actually, I was just going to uh, format the presentation of the Butuan, uh, of the Butuan side. But then I realized that the Butuan claim was wrong mm. because I read, <laughs> I read in Pigafetta that it's it's an island uh, named Masawa that was the site mm -hmm. of the mass. So I had to research going back, how did the Butuan uh, claim start? Uh, I was able to find out that the, the Butuan idea came from a mistranslation of the Antonio Pigafetta account. Mm -hmm. This was the first mistranslation was in 1536. Uh, it was anonymous. Nobody knew who, who really wrote it and it was not known where it was printed. From 1536, it was taken over by uh, Gian Batista Ramosio. 
in his book uh, on travels and that whole mistranslation was also printed in uh, Gian Battista Ramosius book which was in 1550 the whole uh, mistranslation and that was the, how the Butuan uh, claim started and this this translation was uh, revised until 1565 and and uh, that whole Butuan idea persisted even up to now a, a lot of people still believe it's in Butuan in fact uh, I don't know if you've read the uh, the book of uh, the um, father Jusilo uh, Amalia. Mm -hmm. His mind is between Butuan and Masawa. The Masawa Island, sir. Masawa Island. <clears throat> so uh, that's when I I uh, volunteered to research. On, on this issue and uh, Butuan City commissioned me to research on it and then I found out that this is the the real site is Mazawa uh, which is a Butuanan word meaning uh, radiant light and also crystal clear mm. which are not what uh, this issue is all about it's not, not it's not radiant nor is it crystal clear as mr de jesus proceeded deeply into his research he noticed that the claim that mazawa was in butuan is wrong according to him this claim of butuan came from the mistranslation of the written document of pigafetta i presented my findings to the gankaiku panel this was in 1986 and uh, one of my first act was to challenge the proposition, the factum probandum, which is, the, the proposition is, where is the site of the first mass, Limasawa or Butuan? Mm -hmm. I challenged that. I said, it's not Butuan, it's not Limasawa. It is Masawa. It's an island called Masawa. At first, the Gankaiko uh, panel accepted my, my challenge. Only at the end of the, uh, of the exercise, when they were looking for the island, which I indicated in my, in my work, historians went to Butuan and looked for the island at nine degrees latitude. You know, historians cannot cannot find that island. No historian can find that island. It is a, a work of the geologist. Only the geologists can find that island. So when they when this when these historians went there and didn't see any island at nine degrees latitude, that's when they they said no. That study is wrong. We have to go back to our original proposition. Mm -hmm. Where is the site, Butuan or Limasawa? Mm -hmm. That's why they, since it's clear in the in Pigapita's work that it's not Butuan, so they said it's it must be Limasawa. Mm -hmm. What they did, what they did not know is that there is no, there is no mass in the Limasawa story. If you if you have read that Limasawa story. There is no mention of a mass. Nowhere in the three paragraph of uh, Father Francisco Combes does he discuss a mass. In fact, the, in, the, in the third paragraph, he talks of an anchorage at Butuan where they planted a cross, a wooden cross, late in the afternoon. Combes does not say it is March 31, 1521. He does not say that it is Easter Sunday. He just says it's a Sunday. No. 
but definitely he does not talk over mass at Limasawa or Butuan. What I suggested to uh, the Gangkai Kopana and to the National Historical Institute and to the National Historical Commission is to rephrase the question of where is the mass, where was the mass held? And the way to, to find that out is through what is called analytical definition. Mm -hmm. This is just a high palatine word for an inventory or a listing of all the properties of Mazawa. Where was it? What was its uh, latitude? Is it possible to find its longitude? Uh, According to Mr. Vicente, we can confirm the location of Mazawa Island through a geodetic survey to determine the boundaries of Mazawa, how it looks, and what is the shape of the island. Napapatawan lang ako dyan, Mark, because I know in the end, you know, because the search will, will go on as long as the truth is not, is not established. Mm -hmm. Natatawa na lang ako ng limasawa ng limasawa. It will never be limasawa. It can never be limasawa. It will, in the end, be found to be in Masawa. The only reason we cannot really say, uh, here is Masawa, is the, the, the geologist will have to establish the perimeter of Masawa. Mm -hmm. We know that it is 3,830 hectares. So, hahanapin niya ng mga geologists ngayon, saan ba yung perimeter dyan? Hanggang ma makita may establish nila ito dito dito ang 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 end point ng masawa then we, that that will be the only time that we can really say na this is masawa mm -hmm. now uh, there was a geomorphologist was already commissioned to look for it but when he went there the money of of the project was already gone all he could do was say, this is Masawa. He, he pointed to where Masawa is, but he did not know that it's 3,830 hectares. Mm -hmm. Yan lang ang problema ng Masawa ngayon is to find it where it really is. Mm -hmm. Now, we know it is in Pindamangkulan and Bangkasi. These are two barangays in uh, Butuan, in, inside Butuan City. But yun nga, hindi alam kung saan ba yung 3,830 hectares na yan. And then, mm -hmm. well, uh, hopefully they can also establish the reasons why it was fused with Butuan. Mm -hmm. Actually, it got fused with Mindanao. Mm -hmm. it's, more, it's more correct to say Mindanao than Butuan. Because the Butuan of 1521 is really different from Butuan of 2021. Sometime in in the 16th century, around 1570, 1570, something happened to that delta. The the, the island Masawa fused with Mindanao, which is uh, in Butuan today. Now why? Why did it use? Was was it because of an earthquake? Probably. Mm -hmm. Was it because of a uh, flooding? Would be. Mm -hmm. There has got to be an a, an explanation for the fusing of, of the island. Mm -hmm. That we do not have. We have no explanation yet. We got correspondence from Mr. Arnie Nagio, who claims to be a historical researcher and a member of Documentation of Action Group Asia, or DAGA, who is doing documentation about Mindanao. Uh, I'm Arnie Nagio. Uh, actually, uh, pinanganak ako sa Manila. No? So, although may uh, bloodlines, talaga ang nandito sa Mindanao. According to Mr. Nagio, Mazawa is actually naawan a municipality in the province of Misamis Oriental, Mindanao. 
He claims that based on the account of Pigafetta, the place being described is Naawan. So we're going backwards na um, trace. So this a time na nabasok ko nga yung kay Pigafetta na the uh, Apo Agio or the the, the, the real uh, owner of na means the Amis Oriental uh, way to Occidental and Davao is certainly the one only the king of Mazawa or uh, the actual uh, by by in uh, translation is Naawan as you can see the uh, if you research the by by in word ang Mazawa is actually the uh, Naawan. So I can pig, uh, you can search it. Actually nandito 'yan eh. So may, kung ma ang inaano nila, iba. Pero kung m yung ma is na. Na and then a, na a. Kita mo yung z yung three na ano ni Mazawa. O u. So kung double o and you so double yan 33 and back to sa n as a a ang n actually is the uh, first ape uh, ay yung nag nagyo no it came around the uh, n is actually the owner na nagyo iya is iya ano mo yung n sa agyo it's actually nagyo it spells like a bagyo for us Agyo. Uh, you can interchange B and 2N. So, makita mo Nagyo talaga malabas. Mr. Nagyo also claims that Naawan, written in Baybayin, may have been misread in Roman alphabet as Mazawa. Mr. Nagyo further claims that Naawan has the correct geographical coordinates. Aside from these claims, Mr. Nagyo believes the strongest proof they can have is the presence of the cross or padraw that the Magellan Elcano expedition planted. Mr. Nagyo claims that the cross exists and was brought down from the original location atop of the hill because of mining activities in the area. Yung isa pang ano, no, yung direction sa uh, wind from pumasok sila from uh, Pacific Ocean So, dadaling siya ng wind going to the west. No? So, malakas ang alon, kapunta nga talaga siya sa west side. Para makakubli siya dahil sa lakas ng alon, yun nga, nakita nga yung ilaw. So, may isang settler doon. So, para hindi siya ma, ano, ma, a, a, maagos ang tubig dahil nga wala nang hangin lang nga talaga ang, ano, eh, ang direction ng boat no, nila. So, makukubli sila dun sa cove na sinasabi niya. So, kung nasa ani nating 9 degrees parallel north, tumutumbok talaga sa naawan. Yung first uh, mass held in naawan or Mazawa. Historical name niya. Uh, hanggang ngayon, nandun pa yung cross. Although yung sinasabi nila nandun sa mount- mountain, ang problema nga doon, tinanggal nila yung cross. Dahil nga, alam mo na yung bentahan ng lupa. So, ang nangyari, uh, ginawa siyang uh, uh, quarry. He also has a conflicting claim in the purpose of Magellan Elcano Expedition. While most claims they are for spices, he believes it is for gold. Although yung quarry nila, Siyempre, may mga mirrors doon eh. Uh, Mindanao is actually uh, rich uh, in gold since uh, time immemorial. Mayaman talaga ang Mindanao. Kaya nga hinanap yan eh, na, ni Magellan. Ano bang purpose nila? Di siyempre, yung gold. Diba? To Christianize the, uh, the Mindanao or the Philippines as a whole para makuha niya yung dignidad nila, yung, yung kanilang puso, yung mga native, they have to 
Christianize them. They intentionally actually the gold. Kasi yun ang racing between, between Portugal and Spain. While the picture of the cross he sent seems to be modern, he's still challenging people to do a carbon dating on it. Sa pagkakalam ko is, uh, yung cross mismo, pag-transfer, nandun na sa baba. So, hindi nila ma, yeah, no, may establish kung saan talaga ilalagay kasi yung pinaglagyan ni Magellan nasa taas, ginawa ng quarry. Although ngayon, kung to, uh, pupunta mo talaga na awan, still there. Ang maganda nga sana is to ano eh, carbon uh, tingnan natin yung, ano, yung gano kala katanda na ba yan, yung carbon dating supposed to be. Nandun sa uh, likod ng church ng Iglesia Filipina na independent o Aglipay Church. Nandun pa rin. Nandun lang. Mataas, matangkad daw yun. Would Mr. De Jesus and Mr. Nagus claim match? Is Mazawa really naawan? We are done with two claims as the site of the first mass in the country. The celebration of a mass by Blessed Odorico on Santiago Island of the coast of Balinao Pagasinan. And the claim of the first mass in Mazawa Island. There are three more locations claimed as the site of the first mass. Humonohan Island, Masao Butuan, and Limasawa Island. We will discuss all three of them in our upcoming episodes. Let me know what you think about this episode. You can comment to our YouTube channel or tweet your reaction and tag us at Limang Siglo. Um, one of the reasons is because of tradition. Time flies so fast. But every minute is a story. Thank you for watching this episode. I'm your coolit traveler, Mark Pangilinan. Our national hero, Jose Rizal, once said, He who does not know how to look back at where he came from will never get to his destination. See you again next week. And this is Historia, story within history. Here at Historia, we don't have a monopoly in knowledge, talent, and information. If you would like to be one of our Council of Consultants, we would be more than willing to discuss it with you. Just email us at mark at limangsiglo.org or message us on Limangsiglo Facebook page. This episode was made true by the generous support of TerraVibe.com. TerraVibe.com is an information communication technology solutions provider Focusing on high-touch, high-tech, and high-service environments. This includes software and hardware technology development, as well as infrastructure, network setup, and maintenance.